Dealing with multi-die files or individually scanned dies or a core file from, say, like true abutment and then merging those to a hard tissue model like this can be kind of tricky. So I want to talk you through how to do it. Somebody had mentioned that they were struggling with this. So the first step is I'm just going to set this case up um, and I'm going to call it as just an anatomic crown. And I'm going to go ahead and just show you my settings here. This would be for milled zerk. I made some changes like I normally do drag it, and then um, a pontic here. Now, these are not going to be screw retained. This is going to be cement retained, so you would do it a little different if you're going to do screw retained. The next thing is you're going to bring in the merged core file um, with the antagonist. <clears throat> and we can see here the abutments are merged to the scan data, but the soft tissue really hides the margins, making margination quite difficult. And so what you need to do first is load generic visualization mesh and load first uh, one of the abutments and then the other abutment and hit yes when it asks you for orientation. So now we just have these generic meshes merged. And we're going to save that out as a single STL file and you're going to use original coordinate system. And that's going to be your new die scan. So then you're going to go to add remove mesh and hit uh, die scan, multiple die scan and hit load. And you're going to find that new file you exported and they're going to come in at the proper orientation, which is not that important, but what's more important is that they're, they're, they're in one file. So then what you're going to do is go to the wizard mode, hit next, and the first thing in wizard, it's going to ask you to pin the multi-die scan to the, um, the merged scan. So basically hold control on your keyboard and click multiple points. First, figure out what's lingual, what's buckle, and that could be confusing. So I'm going to go back to my original generic visualization meshes and turn those on. Um, and make sure they're at the proper rotation. Um, there we go. We're good to go there. And so I'm going to turn back on my hard tissue model. Hold control and click multiple spots. It's going to attempt to align the dies, and I'm going to hit next. If you get a warning that they have not been properly merged, go back and hold control and click on the second die and make sure that it is properly aligned. And then when you hit next, it's now going to show the model with um, kind of rips in the tissue around the die. And then you're just gonna go ahead onto your margination, single click the margin and we'll auto generate our margin line and then go to correct draw and make sure that your margin line is not apical to the actual margin. This will cause an error later on. And then you're gonna also do that same thing with the next die, just single click the margin and then go to correct draw and make sure that you're not anywhere apical to that um, natural abutment margin line. And then there's only one other trick to this that is in your path of insertion, hit unified path of insertion for bridges and set from view on your ideal path of insertion. Anyway, I hope this helps you guys understand how to load in individual dies and then merge them with your scans.